Capricorn. Hello, my loves. How are you doing? What's going on? How's the world treating you today? I'd like to let you know that I'm very excited that you're here, Capricorn. I've been looking for you all my life, and I want to let you know I love you so much, so much, so much. Welcome back to the channel, my loves. Welcome, 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 welcome. Let's pull out some whispers of love today. Okay. I need some cleansing. Ooh, you guys, that, that Scorpio reading I just did was, oh, Lord, it was the truth. It was the truth. Okay, anywho. These are going to be our clarifiers, my loves. Understand that this is not going to resonate with every single Capricorn. Don't thumbs down me because it's not your story. Okay, the reason, the thing I think is, is cross watchers thumbs down my videos because they don't like what I'm saying. Hey, I'm going to tell it like it is. Here, again, I tell everybody, Just Small Tarot Channel is for tequila. Tequila, okay? If you're still drinking orange juice and you want to go out there and, and get, a, you know, a Kool-Aid or something like that, then you could do that, okay? That's fine by me. No, 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 no. I know. I don't want to tell you what to do, okay? No, no. God, I miss my boss, Batula. She used to talk just like that. Sometimes I even talk to my kids like that. That's how much I miss her. She was my boss. Petula, shout out. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. The best boss I've had in my entire life. Man, I miss that lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. Capricorn. Let's see what's going on, Cappies. Let's see what's going on here, okay, for you. Let me... Let's remember, this is going to be Capricorn, Sun, and Rising, and Venus. This may not, it may, this may resonate, and it may not resonate, okay? So, please take it as it is, all right? Don't, 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 don't try to make it fit if it don't fit, okay? You might get one message out of here, hell, you might get a half a message. <laughs> I don't know, but please understand, this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, if you want something about your specific situation, you're going to have to get, you're going to have to get a personal reading, Okay. Express your love. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, my loves. Make the romantic gesture. Who is it that you need to talk to? Okay, first you're going to have to release your ex. Even though y'all got strong bomb-ass chemistry with your ex Capricorn, you have to release this motherfucker. I'm sorry. The time has come to clear your energy, and I agree. You want to express your love to somebody, but you need to release this mother effort here. They got to go. I love them just as much as I love anybody else. But if they time is up, they time is up. Time. Time waits for no one. They got to go. Look, this person looks like they're about to fall out just because they have to be released. No. I want to stay in your life. I want to stay there and ruin everything. Your future relationships and everything that you and I broke up. I still want you. No, it's not okay, babes. You got to let them go. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. That's why it's so hard for you to release this ex. You guys have strong chemistry. Maybe bedroom boom booms or something. I, um, you know, maybe you guys have great conversation that leads to bedroom. I just get strongly that there's, there's a chemistry sexually. That's, I don't know why I get that. This girl's like, Looks like she ain't got no panties on and she's got a skirt up. You know, a respectful woman's going to put the, that skirt past her knees and she's going to cross her legs. This girl looks like she's just ready to ding, spread them right open. So I don't know. I don't know. I just got a sexual energy off of that. Let's see. Release the X. Let's clarify that really quick, Spirit, for Capricorn, Summon, Rising, and Venus. Let's clear, clear your energy. <laughs> Spirit, help me, Lord. Okay. Release your ex. Can we get a card for release your ex? Release your ex for Capricorn, Sun and Rising and Venus. The energies can be interchangeable. Please remember that. Release your ex. Release your ex for Capricorn. Release your ex for Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, Seven of Wands. You let your guard down way too much for this person. You need to release this person. When you let those seven of wands down, this person has so much leeway all over the place. All within your mind, your spirit, your body, your, you know, you know, and I'm sure, I'm sure the sex is good. I, I get that, but you need to, you need to be like what this woman is in the upright. Get that stick and say, stand back. I'm done. I'm done. But this is in the reverse. 
okay? You need to release this person. You need to release this. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. It caused nothing but conflict. This ex... Uh, I know I was kind of playing around when I was making that voice. When I was saying, you know, I want to be in your life. And I want to ruin your relationship. I, I know that sounded... I know that was like me sounding like funny. I was being funny actually. But now I'm seeing this here as something that was probably Spirit was speaking to me. Saying something. Because they got five of... They got the Five of Swords here. Like somebody's willing to just to win everything at all costs this person doesn't even want you to move forward capricorn they don't want you to move anywhere they want your guard down they want to have their your guard down and you let them just run all over your playground like it ain't shit let's get one for chemistry spirit spirit what's this chemistry card here for capricorn sun moon rising and venus what is this um chemistry dang the bottom of the deck full Somebody, I don't know. I don't feel like this is a good fool, though. I feel like somebody has ended up made the fool. Yeah. Somebody, eight of cups in the reverse and king of cups in the reverse. Somebody wants somebody to come back around just to be manipulative because of the good chemistry. I get the king of wands. I get the king of, the king of cups in the reverse as someone that's not very emotionally grounded. They're, they're not, they're, it's not that they're not stable, by the way, you could be dealing with the fire sign, okay? Leo, Aries, Sag, or you could be dealing with the fire sign, uh, uh, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, anyway, but the Eight of Cups, someone's wanting someone to come back. Come back. No wonder why I release your exes here, because we got the Eight of Cups in the reverse, and we got the King of Cups in the reverse. So, yeah, someone's trying to have their happiness, their Ten of Pentacles, a serious commitment. But there's someone in the way. Someone's in the way of this. Let me see one of these cards here, Spirit. Could we get one for Scor uh, not Scorpio? Sorry, could be one with Scorpio, a water sign. Um, can we get one for Capricorn, Sun, and Rising, and Venus? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, love who you are. You are divine, delightful, deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Yes, yeah, somebody needs to love themselves a bit better. And get someone out of their energy so they can have their Ten of Pentacles. Because someone's trying to stop you, Capricorn. Or Cross Watcher. An ex that you have that you're around or something like that is trying to stop you from having the love you deserve. Yeah. Someone's, someone's not... Someone's not... This is what I'm getting from this card. Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Someone's... Look, even your ex, this person you need to release is worse. They need to love who they are. They, who, they need to love who they themselves also. But you are divine. You are able to have this Ten of Pentacles, this happiness. Okay? Whether it be with the ex. Alright? If you want to be with the ex, be with the ex. But don't confuse other people in the middle of that. If y'all want to get back together, get back together. Okay? But if you don't, then just let it go. Because this person here, I just get a feeling. They want your guard down. And they want to come in and they want to wreck shit. Capricorn. Or cross watcher. Whoever want to say, if the Capricorn is doing this to you, then that's what they're doing. They're doing it to you too. Shit. Because I have the five of swords down here. Like I said, I don't think this is a good fool. I think this is being made a fool. That's what I think. Yeah, because right underneath, six of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's sharing with too many damn people. Eh, you don't need that in your life. Nobody needs that. Capricorn. Nobody needs that. You don't need that. Your ex don't need that. The person you're talking to maybe that you're looking at don't need that. Don't nobody need extra drama. If you don't want to be with somebody, then tell them the, the, tell them the damn truth. What's it going to do? What's, what's going to happen? What? Is there going to be a nuke bomb or something that just goes off in somebody's mind? Or, I mean, is something really going to happen so serious? Oh no, you just won't be able to have your cake and eat it too. Okay. And then rack up karma. Bad karma for yourself, loves. Don't do it. Don't do it. You need to clear somebody out of the way, though. Somebody's wanting to come back because there's strong chemistry, but you, you, chemistry ain't enough to build a tennis pinnacles. It ain't enough. We need more than chemistry. What else, what, what else are you bringing to me? What else are you bringing to me besides ass? I don't want that. I need something else. I don't want lies either. I don't want that. I don't want to be on guard. Okay, I don't want to be in competition. I don't want to have five of swords. I don't want to win at all costs. Are you trying to win at all costs? Are you trying to play emotional manipulation with me? King of King of Cups in the reverse. Don't 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 play with me. Just come on. 
somebody here that that's that's playing around thank you make a decision feeling stuck or indecisive listen to your intuition and make a decision i felt that strongly this ex needs to clear you need to clear this person out of your energy my loves Capricorn or cross watching to clear this Capricorn out of out of your energy. If you want something stable, if you're really looking forward to something new and something grounded and stable, you're going to have to do it. Alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin bring turns to gold. You're able to make this 10 of pentacles happen, but you have to clear out somebody first. You ain't going to be able to have both. Nope. Nope, and how the hell would that even be fair? I wouldn't want nobody doing that to you, Cap, or Cross Watcher. I will tell, I'll smack somebody upside, they, get on. Don't you dare do this to my Cap. Don't you dare do this to my Cross Watcher. Who do you think you are? Don't complain around. This ain't no damn playground. Look, McDonald's is shut down right now because what's going on in the world, so we can't even go in there and play. But you sure in the hell ain't going to complain with me. Sorry, guys. Whew. Get my element there. Lord Jesus, help me. Okay, and no, don't say it's because I'm getting emotional because it's a, I'm going through some shit. I'm not. I'm happily engaged. And I'm going through some good shit. Thank you to the Lord. But what I had to do to get here, I went through a lot of shit. That's why I get, I get, when I get into energies, when I do my readings, I, I get into it. It's some, some, ask any reader. Sometimes you get a little bit, you kind of got to ground yourself. I get that. But when you see something going on in the cards and you just feel it, and you're like, oh, hell no, they ain't about to do this to my cap. Oh, uh-uh, 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 let me take my earrings off. Nope. You know, we just, we also know about karma, just how serious karma can be. If you want to rack it up badly, you can. If you want to rack it up in a good way, do so. But make a decision. Make a decision here. Someone needs to make a clear decision. Someone's indecisive. Like I said, that fool that was at the bottom of the deck, is it still there? Yeah, I don't feel like this is a good fool. I feel like somebody's going to be made a fool. I said that. I just didn't feel. And then we got this card saying, love who you are. Love yourself. Let this ex go if that's what you want to do. Or y'all get back together, do whatever y'all got to do. But you, you can't have both. Someone's going to end up getting hurt. And I don't like seeing that. I don't like third parties and shit. Some people like threesomes. Yeah, fine, have them. But me, no. I'm not sharing. I'm not sharing you, and I'm not going to share myself with anybody else. I'm made for just one person. Okay. Okay, I got a, I got some card. Wow. Really? What the? Oh, wow. Ace of Cups and Ten of Swords. Look at this. I don't know. I feel like it's meant to come out because it's in the middle of my deck. Yep, someone's needing to love themselves after a horrible ending. This X here. And they wanted to come back around because y'all got bomb-ass chemistry. I'm sorry. I'm leaving that out. That came out of my cards for a reason. I love you, Capricorns. I love you, Cross Watchers. I truly do. But that that that's my spirit, guys. They they had that come out for a reason. Because I didn't pull this deck out for, Ca uh, for Scorpio. I didn't. I pulled out a different deck. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Let's get some, uh, I'm going to try not to make this run long. All my readings have been going to, to an hour. Death in reverse, yep. Someone's not wanting something to end here, Capricorn. Whether that be you or the cross watcher. But you have someone that doesn't want to close out something. They don't want it to end. And they do not want to change their ways either. They want your guard down and they want to play on the playground. Like I said, that's what they want to do. Oh, I didn't split my deck. That's what they want to do. They want to play on the playground. Fun times, no. It's like somebody wants to stay in... You know, you guys do have good chemistry. I get that, and I see that. That might be for some of you. Remember, some of these messages are for some, not all. So take what resonates. Don't don't sit there and try to tell me, oh, but that, that wasn't me. And I get that, loves. I do. I understand. But there's energy. I'm reading energy. That's what I'm doing here. I'm reading the energy, and I feel it. Okay? I feel the energy. I have my spirit guides guide me, and they help me, and I feel the energy. Someone here is playing. Someone here is just sticking around for, you know... Tick, 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 tag, you know, and all that stuff. Look at this. Yeah. The world card at the bottom of the deck. Speaking of which, something needs to be closed out. Temperance in the reverse. Ace of Cups in the upright. Ten of Swords in the bot in the reverse. Three of Pentacles in the upright. Oh. Six of Swords in the reverse. 
Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Four of Pentacles in the upright, and the Queen of Wands in the upright. The bottom of the deck, the world card. Something needs to end. Something's unbalanced and it needs to end. It needs to end. It's making it's making you feel unbalanced, Capricorn or Cross Watcher. Do whoever it is. I'm talking Capricorn. This is their reading. If you want to switch the roles, please switch them. But some something's making you unbalanced, Capricorn. Someone's making you unbalanced. And it's someone that's from your past that you need to make a complete close. You need to make a, com a complete close out of this. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Taurus, an Aquarius, or a Leo. Okay? Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, they're all here. Everybody's here. Yeah. Yeah, see? Someone here. This I don't know why I'm getting this. This Queen of Wands here is right underneath. Sorry, guys. Is right underneath the um the Three of Pentacles here at the back, the at, at the end here. This Queen of Wands is looking over here. This promiscuous Queen, Queen of Wands with her legs kind of spread, gapped open. I don't know. I see that all the time. The Queen of Wands is not a bad a, a bad queen. I don't see her as a bad queen, but there is some cases where I see this queen as just being the mistress. She, you know, she. The mistress, you know, somebody might be in a committed relationship and here she comes. Do, 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 do. That could be that ex you're needing to release. But they're seeing you trying to work on something over here. And it looks like this queen of wands wants to kind of initiate a third party situation. Do you see what I'm saying? It look, just look how she's looking over at the three of pentacles. Like it could be a king too. It don't have to be a male. I mean, a female, it could be a king. But she's just looking over there, seeing someone collaborate. And it's like she wants to kind of just, hmm, wonder if I can get someone to do something. No. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I just get a feeling that someone here is just a little bit hot. And it's okay. You got chemistry with this person. You know, I still, like I said, I believe it's sexual. But hey, take it as it resonates. But, you know, after a terrible ending, someone's needing to love themselves a bit more. Someone stabbed you in the back, Capricorn, terribly. Yeah, they did. They did. Don't tell me they didn't. They did. What's funny is the Ten of Swords is in the upright here. Okay, with the Ace of Cups in the upright. You need to love yourself. But down here, the Ten of Swords is in the reverse. And the Ace of Cups is in the upright. You're still needing to love yourself. Unbalanced. Love yourself. Love yourself first. Someone does not want you moving forward. Someone here is trying to stop that. So now they want to come in now. I feel that the Knight of the Deck, uh, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that's just, they're going to take their sweet ass time. They're going to play. That's what I see. I don't see this as stable. I see this person unstable. Okay. Upright, it's a slow offer coming in and it, it is stable, but it's very slow. In the reverse, this person just, they kind of just linger along and hey, you know. Kind of want to make you this offer, but kind of keep my options open. You know what I mean. But don't you move forward. Don't you, don't, don't, you sit right there. Don't you move forward. But I kind of want to make an offer to you. So just sit there and just wait till I, till I decide. No, no, the hell you're not. She got me fucked. <laughs> you was not about to make my Capricorn or my crosswalk just sit and wait while you contemplate on whatever else you got going on. See? It, you need to love yourself. The Ace of Cups is right at the top of this Knight of Wands. I told you, me as a reader, I see the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse as somebody that's just, they're not stable. They're not, they, they, they probably do want to bring an offer that's stable, but that right now they're playing. They're taking their time. It's like someone that, you know, everybody's trying to rush to get into the movie theaters and you got those people that are just like trying to walk really slow just to get on people's nerves. And you're just like, what? Get the fuck out the way. Like, dude, really? If you really, okay, this is a premiere. Like, what do you expect? And it's just like people do it on purpose. Love yourself and get the hell out of this energy. Don't let, let this energy joke go. Release the X and love yourself. Give yourself all that love that you've been giving this person. Because they, they, I don't know, they, 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 they a little something, something off. Something, something, something a little off here. We got the Ten of Swords twice. Guys, please tell me this is not a coincidence. I did not mess with these cards. I simply opened out my beautiful, lovely deck, my favorite one, and those two cards popped out. What do you know? The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords just popped right on out. 
And then I sit there and I shuffle these and I set them out accordingly. And then the Ace of Cups in the upright as well here. The Ten of Swords now though in the reverse here, okay? Someone is not wanting to this to end. They're still holding on. Even though it was painful, they still don't want this to end. They still don't want to let go. They're holding on tight to an ending that's done. It's done. They don't want this to be, they don't want to end. To me, it feels like somebody wants to keep playing, like I said. They want to add a. They want to add a, a, an eleventh sword to the back, maybe right there in the butt crack, because it looked like that's where he's missing a sword. Down, down a little further down there, this last sword, they just want to add some more swords to it. And I just think it's unacceptable. I think somebody's trying to build something for themselves. we got the Ten of Pentacles here also, okay? Trying to build a set stable foundation. And someone, this queen, is sitting over here like, dude, please, I'm coming in. Whether you like it or not, we got that chemistry. You know, we got that fire chemistry. And you think you're about to build with someone else, even though I don't want to just stick to one person right now. I'm going to come play with what you got going on. Man, get the fuck out of here. The fuck, man. Get the no. If that's what you want, Capricorn, fine. But I think, I really here, I think what this is saying is you need to love yourself. You need to get into in balance. Be patient with yourself at the same time. Okay? Be patient with yourself. You have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. You want this Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn? You can fucking have it. It is yours. Are you willing to put in the work and let this ending happen? Are you willing to release this person that's making you so unbalanced, that doesn't want you to move forward? They kind of want you to stay with them. They kind of like misery loves company type of thing I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting. They want to keep you, keep you kind of stuck to them. But they don't want to actually make the commitment, you know, the real the real deal type of, you know, let everybody know on social media. Let everybody know when you go out to get, when you go out to the store to get a grocery store together, y'all holding hands. Y'all don't even have to hold hands. Y'all together, y'all together. There's nobody else in the picture. There's nobody else in the background. There's nothing, you know, but something has needed to end here. There's a cycle that is end, end. Someone here is still holding on and they don't want the ending. They don't want the ending. They don't want this ending, man. Look at this. I got the seven. I got the seven of wands in this deck in the reverse again. Somebody wants your guard to stay down. Remember, love who you are. Love who you are. Love thyself. For real. Let me get one on this ten of swords in the reverse spirit. What can I get for the ten of swords in the reverse? Okay. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Something you want. You want to celebrate. You want to be happy. You want to get over this. Okay, Capricorn. Maybe you don't want to get over this. Wow. Okay. So we got the Seven of Wands again in the reverse. And then we got the King of Wands again in the reverse. Someone's wanting your guard down and someone's wanting you to be un... Hmm. They're wanting you to be uh, self-doubting, you know, uh, insecure, unsure of yourself. It's this ex, bruh. Says, it's this ex. They're, again, this, <laughs> the seven of wands is in the reverse twice here. They want your guard down a bit, love, Okay. They're not going to tell you this. They're not going to come out and say, hey, I want your guard down so I can fuck you over again. They're not going to come in and tell you that. That's why I'm here. It could be your story. It may not be your story. Shit, this may not resonate with no damn body. But this is what spirit's having me bring out to the table. Somebody wants your guard down so you can feel insecure and stuff again. That's what I'm saying. You need to love yourself. Someone's trying to play with you. That's what they're trying to do. They don't want this ending. Even though it was harsh for you, it wasn't really harsh for them. So that's why they don't care about the ending, not ending. They still want to hold on. You provide something to them that this just keeps them wanting to keep you around. But that's not a good thing. That's not something to be happy about. Somebody should want to add to you. They should want to, to commit to you, to want you to, be, if that's what you want, Capricorn, if you want someone that's going to be committed to you and stay with you and be with you, well, then you deserve that love. You don't deserve anything else. 
You don't deserve no third parties. I'm not really seeing third party energy, but somebody got stabbed in the back here pretty, pretty damn badly. So I believe that there was a third party involved at one point. Yes, I do. I do. It had to be something about a third party. Yeah, somebody's getting karma here. Somebody's trying to... The universe is trying to balance some scales for you, but is it are you gonna are you gonna allow are you gonna allow them to do that? Are you gonna allow them to do this? Because someone here, and I believe it's this Queen of Wands, she 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 wants, you know. Remember that chemistry card we had here. You guys have good chemistry. You walked the fuck away. You walked away. You know, the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands is like that fire ass couple. But it's like they the <laughs> Don't not get mad. This is a fire uh, sign normally, okay? But what I get with the with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, they're like that fire ass couple that aren't really faithful to each other, but they they're faithful in a way. They have loyalty, but they don't. Do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, that's just my that's me as a reader. Not everybody else as a, as a reader sees it, but someone here is is yeah. Someone here wants to come in. Look at their legs. Look at her legs gapped open. She wants you to be your guard down, be insecure. You know, we do have fire chemistry, you know, and you know, all this that we've been through and this and that. I know what we've been through. Shit, I was there. We've been through it. That's why you the ex now. Okay. I know you ain't got to tell me twice. I know because somebody here wants you to come back. Somebody here is wanting to manipulate you to come back because of the chemistry and they use that against you. I just see that clearly. I see that. But you, Capricorn or Crosswatcher, you have the ability to make things happen the way you want them to happen. You don't have to have your guard down and feel insecure like you can't do it. Man, you can give yourself this love. You have the ability. It is up to you. You don't need to be unbalanced and be stuck around because someone wants to hold on to you for uh, sexual pleasures or whatever that is. I, I don't know what that is, but justice is trying to be given to you but there's things you got to let go of before justice can be served spirits letting you know that loud and clear there's no way to go about it let me see this three of pentacles what's this three of pentacles here spirit oops sorry guys <laughs> wow i'm gonna put that out it's at the bottom of the deck three of pentacles and three of pentacles mm. mm-hmm uh, okay, let's get three. What's this three of pentacles spirit again? What's this three of pentacles here? Yeah, someone, it's like you want to build something. We got the ten of pentacles up here after a terrible ending. You need to love yourself. You need to love yourself and know you deserve to build and have something stable. Not no promiscuous type of situation. You don't want that no more. You're, you're, you're putting away the, you're putting away the Nintendo 64, whatever they call that. And you're bringing out that Xbox 5. All right, you're upgrading. Okay, time to put time to put some things away. I mean, ain't you tired of kind of taking it out the console and up and down, <laughs> and then have to stick it back in there? No, now you just put that disc, slide it on in there, and you got your game. Shit, I don't even know if had. I don't even know if the PS5 requires a disc. I don't know. I haven't done my research. Anyways, three of pentacles. Yeah, page of swords. Yeah, somebody's spying and watching. And this person's very, um, this person's an ex. And they're very, um, very strategic with their emotions. They're a little cold. So that's what makes you, when this person comes around, that's what makes you kind of, uh, you know, and they're watching you. They're watching you, Cap, or Cap, you're watching your ex. Someone's watching someone here. Watching someone, someone's also probably trying to connect some knowledge, trying to find out some things, maybe going to family members or your friends and asking questions. Hey, could, it's possible. But the three of pentacles, to be at the bottom of the deck at one point when I was shuffling, I put it out here, it didn't pop out. But the three of pentacles be here twice. Someone here is a bit cold, a bit standoffish, and you know that. That's why they were able to put this ten of swords in your back. We got this twice here, Ten of Swords. Even though one's in the reverse, someone's still trying to hold on to you. They don't want to let you go, but yet they are kind of cold. They don't like to give out too much emotion. They don't. They don't really like to give out too much emotion, but they see you here working on something. These two, three, pen these two, three of Pentacles. 
They see you working on something. And this Queen of Wands is just wanting to come in and wreck shit. That's what I see. Though that they're not very, very emotional or don't really, they're, they're kind of cold, yet they are. They love attention. You know, they love people to see them. They like to be seen. You know, I get that very strongly. But they're wanting to, they're, they're, it's kind of like they just want to come in and, and tear down what you have. They want your guard down. I got the seven of wands in the reverse twice. And then I got the and then I got the king of wands in the reverse. They want you to feel insecure. They want you to feel out of place. They want you to feel a little bit. And that's why the king of wands is here and the queen of wands is here. Because you and this person do have chemistry. You guys do. Like I said, I felt like at the beginning it was sexual. Sexual chemistry. Hey, maybe even communicative, but whatever. Take it as it resonates. But Capricorn. Caps, I love you guys. I really do. I really do. <laughs> My God, spirit. Look at this. They're spying on you. And then we got the Knight of Pentacles here again in the reverse. Twice. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I know you guys are probably like, well, what's so special about that? They're two the same day. They're tarot card. Yeah. But in the reverse, both of them. Like, nobody finds that kind of peculiar. Even I find it weird when sometimes a double, a double card will come out and in reverse or upright or uh, or reverse. I, I find it to be, my spirit guides make me wowed over it. But yeah, see, this person's spying on you because they just want to just kind of linger around. This ex has got a, I love the ex. I, hey, tell your ex I said hi. Hi, Capricorn's ex. How you doing? But you got to get out the way, baby. They got something they got to do, okay? They got they got something they got to do. I said they got something they want to do. There's so many fish in the sea. I swear to God there is. Yeah, there's an ace of wands. That sexual energy that I just keep feeling. I keep feeling it. I hope I'm relating to someone out here. I really do. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person doesn't want to commit to you. That's not what they're doing. There's not. That's not what they're doing. It's not what they're doing. You're here to, this person's here to teach you a spiritual lesson. And you're supposed to close this out. The world card twice, we've seen it. We have the world card at the bottom of this deck. And we have the world card here with the Hierophant. Look at how the Hierophant's looking at the world card. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Strongly Taurus hint in these two cards. A Scorpio, an Aquarius, or a Leo. Okay. Could be dealing with one of those. But yeah, guys... For shits and giggles, let's get a Queen of Wands here. What is this Queen of Wands spirit? What's this Queen of Wands here in this spread for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is this Queen of Wands here? What's this Queen of Wands? 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 Me and the spirits be talking and singing. I know I can't sing. Ace of Swords, yeah, it's time you know the truth about this. Four of Cups. Look at this. Ace of Swords clarifying the Queen of Wands. This person, there's some truth here that you need to know about, about this person. This, this, I'm sorry, I just see them as your ex, and I just see them as a little bit promiscuous. Like, they just want to wreck stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. And the Four of Cups at the bottom, you so busy missing what the divine and the and the god and god and them are trying to give you spirit ten of pentacles ace of cups okay because you're so worried about this this chemistry and the and, the, and this person that's still in your energy yes no 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 look at the two of cups you want a real soulmate connection you truly do. You know you do. I'm putting that with the Ten of Pentacles and the three in the in the in the Ace of We got the Ace of Cups here twice. I don't feel like your ex is <laughs> Let me get this Ten of Swords in the reverse, Spirit. Can I please get this Ten of Swords in the reverse? <sighs> Two of Swords. You don't know if you want this to end or if you want to keep going. Or if you should give this person another chance. This is clarifying the Ten of Swords. Indecisive. Indecisive. But hey, it's up to you. It's up to you to what you want to do. You could be in two minds about, you know, this ending. 
You could be in two minds about two different people. Take it as it resonates, but you're in two minds of something. You'll have to make that decision though. No matter what Spirit's saying here, no matter what I say here. Hey, you guys, listen, I give advice. I give cutthroat advice. I tell it like it is, and sometimes I get a little bit of emotional, but it's because I love my, I love my viewers. I truly, genuinely care about everybody, especially when it comes to love. That's why I like doing love spreads. Y'all, I've been there. I've been through so much shit, you won't even know. And I wish I had somebody just as frank and blunt. I'm a Leo, by the way. Leo son. Um, I wish I had somebody that blunt, like myself, that would have been around when all this was... When all the... Not when all this. <laughs> I'm trying to say, hey, you guys, this is me. Now, um, when I was going through this type of stuff, you know, I really would, would, would have loved to have someone... Just to, hey, man, look, Lauren. Hey, wake up, bruh. Wake up, wake up. You know, this is what you need to do, all right? And you need to stay firm with it because you're worth more than that. You don't need nobody trying to stick around and be in your energy or stick around you just because they don't want you to be with nobody else, but they don't want to give you the right treatment that you deserve. That ain't cool. Five of Wands in the reverse, yeah. No more competition, no more fighting, no more arguing. You don't want that no more. You don't want it no more. Six of Wands in the reverse. And if you do choose that di direction, it could be unsuccessful. You know? You want commitment. You want commitment. Cel cel celebratory. Ce celebrate things. Go within and, and put the light. Okay? Put the light down. That, go within and see things. No second chances. Judgment in the reverse. That tower is going to come right in when you find out that this ex or this person that's still in your energy is still being sneaky. Because they don't want you to move forward. Chariot in the reverse. Yeah, they don't want you to move forward. In fact, they want to cause you a third party situation. They want you to be stuck in choosing them or someone else. Look at this. You have options. They want to give you illusions. Do you see the difference? You have options. They want to give illusions. Options, illusions. Which one would you rather take? Which one would you rather take, love? Which one would you rather take, my beautiful kings and queens out there? All of you are kings and queens. Shit, even the hoes. Kings and queens. Y'all kings and queens too. Y'all just having a hard time recognizing that. So you feel hoeing is the only way to do it. And going around taking other people's relationships and tearing them apart. You know, hey, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. But then you wonder why at the end of the day, everybody's in their home, comfortable with what they love and sitting up watching movies, eating some good ass food, and you stuck by yourself trying to find a date, trying to find somebody to go out with you. And everybody doesn't want, nobody really wants to go out because they just tired. They want to stay in the, indoors, especially in the winter time. But it's about to be summer. We all know that. And everybody's going to want to get out there and just get, you know, but I don't think it's worth it. I think it's worth finding somebody that want, that really wants to be in your life. I think you really, you really are worth that Capricorn or Crosswalker, whoever this is going for. Please remember, just because it's Capricorn's reading doesn't mean that every single person who got the Capricorn is the one that's so innocent. I'm not saying anybody's really innocent. What I'm saying is I see somebody trying to be, to stick around just because they want to, they want to cause uh, distraction. They, this, distraction, that's how you would say that in a nice way. Shit, chop wood. I'm seeing that. Is this the oracle that I want to pull? No, this isn't the oracle. I don't know why I'm not feeling this one. Chop wood again at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm, ooh, I'm not feeling this one right here. There we go. I love this deck. <laughs> I just use it for Scorpio. Put it away for a while, but some of these cards are reversed, you guys. I really don't read them in reversals unless I feel spirit telling me to do so. I gotta go through and put them all in the upright, and that takes some time. Some real time that I don't have time. Okay, loves. Man, this is a crazy reading. Mm -hmm. Please like. Please like the video. I would love for you to like the video. I'd appreciate it. In fact, I'm going to pull you guys a couple shade cards so you can see what's really going on with this X around you, around your energy that you're having a hard time releasing. We're going to see what they want to say that they're not telling you. 
Spirit, what do we have here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love? What do we have here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding love? Scorpio got this too. Obedience at the bottom of the deck. And then, no, this ain't no dominatrix type of thing. This is you being obedient to self. Being obedient to self and making the better better choices. Better choice. This is this card says choices, but you're gonna be making better ones. Sorry, y'all, my ugly ass fingers. I need to get my nails done. Making better choices for yourself, okay? So we got at the top here. Yeah, reminder, don't forget. Don't forget. It says reminder right here, but engraved in there. In this part here, caps, it says don't forget. Don't you forget about me. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Y'all are probably like, all right, you know what? I'm ending this. I'm, I'm unsubscribing from this motherfucking lady, okay? Yeah, y'all keep that subscribe button and that notification bell on. Y'all know y'all love me. Y'all do. Y'all know y'all do. Obedience and choices. You need to be obedient to yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. If you're not going to do it, who the hell else is? Okay, your mama. Yeah, I know your mama loves you. But, you know, it's just like, let me get some shade cards out for you guys. And then this is what this person that, I, I don't know why I felt the need. When I saw that, um, this is my made up deck, you guys. I really do appreciate it. I love it very much. And I have a whole nother one here too. So, oh, my daughter's awake. Hi, baby girl. I'm almost done with my reading. Hey, baby. Hi. <laughs> Hi, doll face. Okay, I'm trying to get up here. I'm gonna pull a couple shade cards for my for my my love bugs here. My other love bugs, my Capricorns. No, we're not breastfeeding on camera, so that ain't happening. Let me get you guys a couple cards out to see what this person wants to say to you. The ex is not really telling you. They're not really telling you this, but they, you know, portraying as if they, you know, want to be cool with you and this and that. And mm. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Capricorn. Not happy without you, but yet they don't want to make that commitment. They don't want to make that solid commitment. I just get that. I think we belong together. So why are they playing games? This is from the ex, that, that person. I secretly want you to cheat on your current partner with me. I won't say a word. What the F did I tell you, Capricorn? I said that that Queen of Wands was over there looking at that Three of Pentacles. Stop begging. No, no, no. Phoenix, Phoenix, no, you can't put my boob out on, I can't, I know, hold on, I'm almost done, baby. I told you that, that that Queen of Wands was over there looking at that Three of Pentacles, like, I want to wreck some shit up. I bet they are not that good in bed like me. Yep, promiscuous. Capricorn, I can't make this shit up. It hurts too much to let you go. That's why that they need to be cleared out of your energy. Even though it hurts, they need to respect your, respect you as a person, okay, and they need to let you go. Even though it hurts, hell, we all have those moments where we hit, we don't want to let people go. We're used to them. We get we, we get we get um, infatuated with them. We end up being used to them. They're like a part of our lives. But if they are, people don't belong to you. They do not belong to you. They're not car keys. They're not cans of milk, condensed milk or whatever you want to say. It hurts too much to let you go. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to let go. You got to love yourself, Capricorn, or Crosswatch, whoever this is resonating with. You got to let yourself go. I'm not happy without you. You know, I am so hurt you have moved on to someone else. See that? See that? That that Queen of Wands um, was is sticking around. It could be a king. It could be a man. It doesn't have to be a woman because don't look at gender, guys. Just smile doesn't do gender, okay? I don't. All right, well, that was the shade cards that I got for you guys. If that went too fast for you, you can always rewind the video and watch it again where the cards were. You don't have to watch the whole thing again. But this is what I have for you guys, Capricorn. I thank you guys so much for being so patient with me, staying here and viewing. I please ask for your like, 
I please ask for your like. I do excuse you and apologize for my daughter trying to, you know, um, expose me. <laughs> she doesn't understand. She's only one. Okay, so I love you guys. Stay healthy. Stay well. Stay loving yourself. And I will see you in the next vid. Until then, take good care of yourselves, okay? Bye-bye.